Chapter Twenty One. It was then that the fox appeared. Good morning," said the fox. "Good morning," the little prince responded politely, although when he turned around, he saw nothing. "I am right here," the voice said, under the apple tree. "Who are you?" asked the little prince, and added, "You are very pretty to look at." I am a fox," said the fox. "Come and play with me," proposed the little prince. "I am so unhappy. I cannot play with you," the fox said. "I am not tamed." "Ah,、oh, please excuse me," said the little prince. But after some thought, he added. What does it mean, tame? You do not live here," said the fox. "What is it that you are looking for?" "I am looking for men," said the little prince. "What does that mean, tame?" "Men," said the fox. "They have guns, and they hunt." It is very disturbing. They also raise chickens. These are their only interests. Are you looking for chickens? No," said the little prince. "I am looking for friends. What does that mean, tame? It is an act to often neglect it," said the fox. "It means to establish ties." To establish ties, just that," said the fox. "To me, you are still nothing more than a little boy who is just like a hundred thousand other little boys. And I have no need of you, and you, on your part, have no need of me. To you, I am nothing more than a fox like a hundred thousand other foxes." But if you tame me, then we shall need each other. To me, you will be unique in all the world. To you, I shall be unique in all the world. I am beginning to understand," said the little prince. "There is a flower. I think that she has tamed me. It is possible," said the fox. On the earth, one sees all sorts of things. Oh, but this is not on the earth," said the little prince. The fox seemed perplexed and very curious. On another planet? Yes. Are there hunters on this planet? No. Oh, that is interesting. Are there chickens? No. Nothing is perfect," sighed the fox. But he came back to his idea. My life is very monotonous," the fox said. "I hunt chickens. Men hunt me. All the chickens are just alike, and all the men are just alike." And in consequence, I am a little bored. But if you tame me, it would be as if the sun came to shine on my life. I should know the sound of her step. That would be different from all the others. All the steps send me hurrying back underneath the ground. Yours will call me like music out of my burrow. And then look, you see the grain fields down yonder. I do not eat bread, which is of no use to me. The wheat fields have nothing to say to me, and that is sad. But you have hair that is the color of gold, 
think how wonderful that would be when you have tamed me. The grain, which is also golden, will bring me back to the thought of you, and I shall love to listen to the wind in the weeds. The fox gazed at the little prince for a long time. Please tame me," he said. "I want to very much," the little prince replied. "But I have not much time. I have friends to discover, and a great many things to understand. One only understands the things that one tames," said the fox. "Men have no more time to understand anything." They buy things already made at the shops, but there is no shop anywhere where one can buy friendship, and so men have no friends anymore. If you want a friend, tame me. What must I do to tame you? Asked the little prince. You must be very patient. Replied the fox. First, you will sit down at a little distance from me, like that, in the grass. I shall look at you out of the corner of my eye, and you will say nothing. Words are the source of misunderstandings, but you will sit a little closer to me every day. The next day, the little prince came back. I would have been better to come back at the same hour," said the fox. "If, for example, you come at four o'clock in the afternoon, then at three o'clock I shall begin to be happy. I shall feel happier and happier as the hour advances." At four o'clock, I shall already be worrying and jumping around. I shall show you how happy I am. But if you come at just any time, I shall never know at what hour my heart is to be ready to greet you. One must observe the proper rites.